What's going on everybody? This is Adam Dash and we are outside the TLA. And I'm with a guy who was signed when he was 13 years old. Wow. Ninth Wonder heard this man. He said, this 13 year old boy can rap. Yeah. yeah. He's now signed to The Rock. Yes. Hailing Indeed. from Charlotte, North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen. My dog, what Ruben up? Ruben Vincent. Yes sir, the general man. You see where we at? We in Philly with it. You know what I'm saying? I got family down here, so this like home for real, so. Came back, circle back, spun the yes, rock, sir. man. You gotta spin the rock. All right, so that show was crazy. Thank DJ you. right here. Thank Bro, you. You, your voice is made for DJ. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. You're now on a tour. I know you've toured with Pusha T before, but yeah. right now, you're with the Dreamville folk. Yes. How's tour been? Nah, it's been love, and you know what's crazy? The Pusha T tour was like five dates, yeah. but the Boss tour has been 23, 24 dates. So it's been love. Every city, we touch cities I've never touched before. Majority of these places I've never been before for real. Yeah. So like, never been to Portland, never been to San Francisco, never been to San Diego, never been none of these places. So to be able to be here and be, you know, amongst people like a boss that yeah. I used to, bro, I told boss the other day, I was like, I used to drive, go to school like on the bus and listen yeah. to Too How to Write. So it's like full circle moment, man. It's, it's, it's a blessing. Facts, and now you got general admission dropping. This might be out by the time the album comes out April 5th. Yes, yes. All right, so I love artists that you can tell what they're truly about through their music. It's not just punchlines. You can feel like what they're interested in. Your African roots clearly are so important to you. Yes, yes. I was telling her, man, I had to look up what Fufu meant. <laughs> your, your culture and me. Yeah, yeah, and in Big man, Bang, yeah. you, you can hear in the drums on Big Bang. Yeah, like, absolutely. And in the phrasing of it, how absolutely. important is that for you to put that in your music? Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a big importance, especially right now. Like the goal for me is to connect the diaspora with you know the hip-hop culture we have here in america to the hip-hop culture that is back home yeah. and you know we have you know mc kato lib foreign you know what i'm saying the field season many artists that's representing liberia but i feel like the goal right now is we all trying to break that barrier to touch these yeah. places so with me having this opportunity and you know me being uh, one of the youngest artists that's like coming out of that i want to be able to bridge both worlds where it's like a, a person who might not know about fufu like you said yeah. Is getting put on the fufu, or somebody who might be my age that's first generation and want to get back into their culture. Facts. This is a leeway into that, and I just want to, I just want to bring culture together. Yeah. Man. That's all I'm trying to do. I know you're touring with Boz, who's very proud of Sudanese. Yes, always exactly. Always the music. Exactly. So I love hearing it. But tell me more about the EP. I know you're producing more in it. Fufu, yeah. you direct the video. Yes. Insane. Uh, on the new album, we got Chris Patrick Suave on one song. And I know you're tapping in more to the underground. Not that yeah. they're underground, but these guys are amazing. Nah, you're facts. You're doing production from Marco Plus, Ben Riley. Yeah, facts. Man, tell me about this new rising artist that you're working with and how excited you were for to get them on the album. Um, I mean, we all in the same class. as new MCs that's like, you know, bubbling and, you know, we're still very much up and coming and underground trying to get our names up but we're incredible. Suave, Marco, Ben. And these are our, my partners. Like, we got a group chat together. Yeah. Like, we was literally just in there texting today. Like, it's me, Marco, Deontay, Hitchcock, Rayvon, Damani, Seti Hendrix, uh, everyone that, that you just mentioned. And I feel like, you know, this is what people like the Coles and the Meeks. And everybody was doing was getting with each other in different Facts. cities and stuff like that. Collaboration. And, yeah, and bringing it together. So that's all it's about, bro. I'm just trying to see the whole community just go up a notch and go up to another level for real. Yeah. yeah. So I think when we think about hip hop sometimes, we think about maybe Philadelphia, New York, LA. North Carolina is yes. so damn underrated. I mean, we got Cole, who I think is the, the GOAT. And yeah, then we got absolutely. Lou. We got you. We got absolutely. Lou. We got Rhapsody, the queen, on exactly, her album. Exactly. And she's commenting. I mean, that, what does that support mean from Rhapsody? Man, Rhapsody's one of my, one of like, that's ever. one of the best ever for show. And that's like my sister. Like, she was one of the people who really championed me when I first came into the game. Took me under my her wing, like, flew me out to L.A. with her. I stayed with her for years. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I used to go to drive up to Raleigh, stay with her. Um, like that's my sister there. Like that's way deeper than rap. But North Carolina, we do got a lot of talent. We got the baby. Gotcha. We got a lot of. We got Mavi. We got Mavi. Tia Karen. I didn't know she was from North Carolina. Yeah, you know Moray. what I'm saying. So, Moray, yeah. exactly. So we're stacked. And I think right now, just as much as I say the same thing with the Liberian community, I think it's the same with North Carolina, where it's like it's a it's a resurgence and it's a renaissance right now of the culture. Gotcha. And it's about to be in five years from now. People gonna be like, oh. Liberian hip hop, Liberian hip hop is crazy. Yeah. North Carolina hip hop, these are the people that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just glad to be able to teeter both lines and be able yeah. to, you know, carry the tours. Yeah. And then on Love is War, it's now been a year 
after the album, a little bit over a year after, yeah, yeah, facts, has facts. the album taken on a new meaning for you now that you're touring for it again and now that you've kind of been so separated from the initial release date? Yes, and the reason why I say that is because Love Is War for me is going to be an album I feel like in later 10 years, 8 years, 5 years down my career where people are going to be like, yo, that if you knew, you knew. But then when they go back, when they hear the new stuff, they're going to be like, whoa, like he been building these body of works. Butterfly Doors to start the album. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I don't give two fucks, not two more, not two day. It come on. And I was Great. eight. I was 18 in my room doing that. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just a, it's a time stamp of that time where I was, but I also think it's going to be one of them projects that later down the line, it's, it's a sleeper right now, I feel like. Yeah. But I feel like later down the line, people going to be like, yo, it's like kind of like Section 80 where people were sleeping on yeah. it at their time. Well, that, then, that jazziness and boom bap, it lives on like it exactly. stays years later. Exactly. Some of these sounds, you hear like, I don't know, the sideline story, like um, Mr. Nice Watch. Yeah, I hear yeah. that. It's the, it's, the worst, <laughs> it's, the, it's the worst beat ever. I listen to him like, that's a 2000s beat. Nah, Cole is one of my favorites, but it's you, not. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, you definitely was, he, you know, I understand it though. So, yeah. But I definitely think Love is War. It means a lot to me because I stood on what I wanted to stand on, and I was yeah. making a body of work. No matter what anybody was saying about social media numbers, analytics, yeah. streams, and all this extra stuff, like I really did something that meant something to me, and I stood on that on my first project. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, that was done on an EP budget. That's not even my debut album, like me fully flushing yeah. things out. So. And then on Geechee Suede, you say, I was looking up the OGs. Now, now the OGs, OGs show OGs. love. Exactly. So, they pay I dues, know. now they owe me. So you, I mean, I heard a story. You talked to Hove. You've met the man because you're obviously you're signed to The Rock. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. lived in Guru's house. Yeah, That's yeah, New yeah. Jersey. Shout out to Absolutely. Guru. Shout out to the big, goat. Shout out to Young Guru. Uh, man, tell me about some of the people bro. you've met that show love. For me, the people that I've met that had, obviously Jay was one of them, you know, and I met him during the Book of Hove event and I told him uh, afterwards, he had like a dinner, like a little private dinner, I went over to him and I just was like, yo, you know, to see the, the what you did with your career from where you came from to who you are now, that's all the motivation a young person like me need. Yeah. And he was like, I can see that, you know, you really dialed into the museum and you got your focus up. Yeah. Just keep that focus in. You know, that's all I ever needed. Joey, Joey Badass showed me love, you know what I'm saying? Benny the Butcher, um, man, it's the Cole early, Cole has been showing me love early. I know, I know you miss prom, that him and Kendrick when yeah, you're 16. Yeah, Kendrick That's too, insane. you know what I'm saying? And to get those as my first, like, the, number one was the first celebs that I've met. And then also, like, for them to, like, you know, acknowledge me and embrace yeah. me was a blessing, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm grateful, bro. I'm having a great time, bro. You know what I'm saying? We having fun, so. Uh, last question. What are the goals for the year? I mean, we got General Mission dropping. Yeah. I mean, it's about to be banger. Fufu is already like the first song I play whenever yeah. I get to the gym, whenever I get to the car. Come on. Too crazy. Come on. What are the goals for the year? The goals for the year, man, I think is for me is to continue to flood the market with music, be consistent this year, continue to travel. Once I get off this tour, I want to come back on tour. I want to do more shows and I want to build this fan base up where I can really stand on something. And then I'm putting out more music. And I'm producing for other artists and stuff like that. Yes, and, sir. You know, and then also too, like, my main goal is to, you know, at the end of this year, you know, get some way touch back homeland. You know what I mean? So yeah. those are some of my goals this year. But y'all about to see my face a lot, hear my voice. Sure. Ruben, it's an honor. My We're saying the fucking cold right now. Yeah, yeah. Y'all go bump that album. It's dropping soon. General Third World, we Peace. Out. Okay, I've been upset, I'm so much on the ground, 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 I'm so much on the ground,